You know, I don't want to even get uh, too angry around Dump, although I'm just feeling fucking heat. Except it's not me, it's somebody else's shit, because I don't even give a fuck. Just some gorilla from a fucking uh, a castle. Not even angry at that guy, but he's a friend of uh, Janusz uh, Kielkowski, JK, you know, Janusz over there. And someone let me know that, I don't know if I remember correctly, but it's called Piast. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a Polish deli, uh, well, it's Passaic and it's Clifton. I think it's Passaic actually, but it's right along uh, the river and stuff. You know, they, uh, it's like, you know, it's like, a, it looks like a castle, this and that. Anyway, we, we, they, Amtek would deliver beer every so often there, you know, they would take like a pallet with the Hilo and Janusz over there, his wife, he said, and I think his, you know, I think his, uh, daughter-in-law, they would clean houses. But predominantly, he said his wife had checks, and I would go in there, and I'd give it to the guy, and his name was Pavel, you know, big stocky guy, he would always, on the forklift, high or whatever, and he would unload the beer, and he would take the checks, and would give me, like, a, a cash for it. I mean, I really don't understand, I don't understand the fundamentals of doing that, you know, it's like, and I, and I saw it, you know, because he gave me the cash, and it was like 70 $80, once it was like over 100 maybe it was a little bit more. And it was it was like you know once uh once every so often maybe once two weeks once every month it wasn't like every time it wasn't every time Janos made me do that I only did it maybe like I don't know under a dozen times you know the whole time I was there I don't know if people instigated you know it was my mom that was doing my mom wouldn't do that shit at least for me you know but you know the thing was it was just so aggravating like you know I'm going to deliver beer for uh. You know, Zhevitz over there or whatever. And this freaking idiot, you know, it's like he wants to clean, you know, I guess clean the uh, footsteps of his money or something like that. Because she was cleaning houses, people writing checks. And, you know, it, it was just so awkward. It was just like, it got me so agitated. Like, I couldn't say freaking no. Even though I tried, it was like, oh, you just give it to him, you'll give it cash. What's the problem? You know, but you, you got to stand in something. It's like a full store. I got, I don't know how many stops. It's, you know. It, the day is whatever it is. I'm, sh you know, I'm kind of stressed. I gotta go here, gotta go there. You know, uh, it was just aggravating. You know, I could have had an easier day without that. And, you know, it was just like, I would call for him. The, the guy Pablo, he was just busy. He was. They always had a lot of customers. You know, and a lot of times it was just like a full house. It was ready, like nobody there. He was there. And a lot of times I got there, he just like he didn't wake up yet. He's not even here. I'm like, so what am I? I mean, I'm supposed to do. It's like, and I had to go. I had to look for the guy uh, named Pavo. You know, I had to look, repeated look for him through like uh, the butcher place, this and that. Once in a while, there was somebody else, an older guy. He would get on a forklift, take the beer, and put it in the garage and sign it. You know. In the beginning, when I started work going there, I would take uh, I think it was piece by piece. Or we would it would take uh, they would take the pallet down. And one by one, we would put it like in a storage area and I will help them count it. And I will be like, all right, this, this. They had like a little side storage area. Afterwards, they just took it off and, you know, he just signed it and he even looked at it. And I was like, you know, I, I counted this and that. Uh, last time I made a joke, oh, you know, Janos kind of said it might be a mistake or something. Like, it wasn't even that serious, you know? I didn't even mean it. I wouldn't let Janos count it because there would be a mistake, including Andre. You know, there would be a mistake, there would be something missing or, you know, uh, there'll be 10 cases missing from, you know, from from the pallet because, you know, Yang just didn't look at it on paper. He circled it or something. But, you know, about those checks, it just it just felt like, you know, felt ridiculous, you know. And plus, there's, you know, there's like full crowd of people, just customers. And, you know, I, I'm giving him the checks, this and that. I don't know if once he instigates, he said something about my mom. You know, it's just like so classless and just so below. I really had no problem with that guy, Pablo. At the same time, if it was Yang, if I saw him like that, I probably wouldn't have had a problem either. You know, Cause you go in, you get it, you say a couple of things, this and that, and you go about your way, you know. The place was in the back. You had to get to this tight road, which was okay, but you had to back up all the way in, which I like to back it up and then just pull out, you know, uh, because, you know, you're backing up, someone could just, you know, uh, just slam on their brakes and you're getting nervous, you know. Um, people live down the side over there, so a lot of, sometimes I stop and someone will go around, oh, I'll move the truck, this and the other thing, you know. Uh, there were some people that acted kind of sort of rude, you know, just like you didn't, you didn't want to talk to you, this and the other thing. So I was like, ah, eh, whatever. It wasn't the worst stop. It was just about that, you know. Coincidentally, blocked down the road, there was another Polish deli. 
Gianna was over there. Always, you know, if I was there, I had to like, he wanted to call me, uh, make me stop and give him something. He, with my money, they would give me like cash back. He threw it on the table, you know, like a pig. Uh, but you know, it's just, it was just like one of the, one of the styles just always aggravate me to a certain extent. A lot of times just, ah, I was like, fuck it. What, what else are you going to do? It's fucking Janos, you know, what else do you expect? You know, and, and the angry, vile inside of me he's, he's say it's a grimy, dirty fucking Polak. You know? Plama. Plama. I mean, he always talked about, Jan always talked about his so-called uh, uh, daughter-in-law. Daughter-in-law, I think his, you know, son's wife, she would like do clean or babysitting or something like that. Later on, I think she came, she became a sales lady for Amtec, you know. That's that, you know, uh, geez, I'm, I stagger with words with that word. Fuck, I always mess it up. But it's basically, you know, when you uh, align yourself with your relatives or distant relatives and you bring them to work. Same ideas online, you know, it's like family, relatives, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, cousin, this and that. And it's like, you know, uh, it gets in the way. It gets in the way. Especially, you know, when they don't want to work, they don't do anything efficient. You can't say anything because, you know, that's the that's the manager's son or, you know, wife-in-law. And, like, you have to do, like, you know, take your know, packages on your, with your own with your own car, with your own gas, and your own time. Even if it's work day and you have to drive around, you know, deliver packages for him. Or send it back because his wife bought the wrong meble, <laughs> you know, like the wrong color. And it just, you know, it just became fucking ridiculous, you know? I'm not saying that Yano should have gave me money for gas, this and that, I didn't want it. But it's like, you know, when I use my car, even for like work relations, I take the turnpike something, I waste money uh, for the turnpike and gas. Like, you know, you gotta have be a little considerate, you know, I'm not your fucking slave. I'm not your fucking slave. I never was. You know, I just needed a job. And and that guy and the guy manager previous to Amtec always would harass you. It's like, you know, if you don't do this, you just won't have a job. They just let you know very subtly. You know? So when Yanos fired me, I was just... I didn't instigate, but I was waiting for him. I was waiting for him to fire me. I don't give a fuck about that shithole. Or the fucking shitty beer. Let's be honest. It's not that great. And the fucking retard, you know, bulk down over there. I don't want to call him a retard, but they were telling me, like, don't tell me like Samuel Adams around. I'm like, go fuck yourself. You didn't, even, you, didn't even, you didn't even make the recipe. Go fuck yourself. You're a fucking idiot, bro. And you're retarded homosexual son that pees in the woods and takes pictures of it, puts it on Facebook. You guys are fucking classless pigs. You're the reason why people call me Polak. Dumb Polak. You fucking jerk offs. But, you know, I'm not getting angry. Someone must be really hot. Oh, and then my mom, I had like checks for like, you know, cleaning people's houses. She would take them to the bank or some shit like that. I would never funnel money through a business. Grammy fucking Pollocks. Just that, you know, a lot of times you have to do like side fucking uh, projects or, you know, uh, deeds or uh, favors for this fucking, uh, you know, grown man child. You know, who will get obsessed and just fucking, you know, just start like, you know, being a fucking clown. Man, my court case is coming up, still coming up after a year and a half. I wonder what other idiot retard they get on there smiling like a fucking payats. Payatsa is this shit. Tell you facts, I'm going to be like an idiot who's a pierdolone, you say, gifty pierdolone. And this is way, who's a dupe? What's the slow can, right? Yeah. Tak, chuj w dupę, wiecie, kurwa, chcieli, żeby coś mi tam weszło, idiotko. But, that's it for right now. I, um, uh, I'm trying to lay down this and that, because I want to be up at night, do some work at night, but fucking retarded arms over there, just fucking is stressed. So, I, <laughs> so I sat down, make this video, and next I'm going to write some shit down about the retarded shit that's on his mind.